everybody. Hi, everyone. Mr. and Mrs. Trevor here. This ill cause glam in the Bahamas. Welcome to the Nassau Bahamas. Um, we wanted to talk a little bit today about Nassau. Um, specifically, this is going to be a difficult topic to talk about. It really is. Is Nassau the worst port? I, you know, I can't personally stop and say any particular port is the worst port in the Caribbean. I get, you know, I like some more than others, uh, but we're going to talk about it today. So, but first of all, let's go down and check out the new port that's here in Nassau and let's see what it looks like and then we'll come back and talk about it. All right, everybody. Elevated situation. Awful. <laughs> Wrapping up our cruise here, we're heading down to the port of Nassau. We're just going to take you down there real quick to show you the progress uh, in the port of Nassau. As we pulled in, we saw quite a bit of construction progress. Yeah, we ain't even want to go up and ship the elevator so bad, but let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, so let's take a peek around Nassau and see what's new. Let's go. Let's go. All right, so we just got off. Hey, everybody. <laughs> we just got off the ship here. Yeah. Here's our seascape right here, and the uh, Carnival Liberty, or excuse me, Freedom, right next to us. But you can see already here, uh, new pavement. They have, they have new, they have new uh, overhang there uh, for you to wait for shore excursions. Um, these booths look pretty new. This is all new. This is blocked off. It wasn't blocked off before. It looks like the booth that had all the stickers on it is gone. And look at all the, the hoods. I'm, I don't know what you call them. Booths? Yeah. Over the walkways. Over every walkway is a hood. Yeah, so there's a lot of uh, protection from the sun and rain right now. And we noticed that people were getting on excursions right from here, right off the port. So pretty, pretty convenient. And I see lots of color going on over at the port. Let's go check it out. I don't think we can get done. This is all brand new area that was built, man-made, filled in land. Um, you can see all the colorful booths. Looks like they'll have probably vendors in there. Looks like they have some kind of a amphitheater down at the end, uh, probably for little concerts or something like that. So, not open yet. That part down there, I don't think.
This is the wash up. So we've walked through the entire new court mm -hmm. and uh, you know they're building up and there's still shops yet to open but we're here all the way at the end and what's nice is this comes all the way out all the way to the end to Senior Frogs. It does have an entrance right by the uh, straw market which is good for the, the locals. Straw market's right there and there's a gate right to the side there. The next busy restaurant is Sharky's and it's it's black and sharky. So let us know if you, what do you think about the street that's being blocked now? Yeah. I think the residents that live here all know shops and they kind of got a problem with the way they did the new port. So yeah. comment below if you a resident or if you Bahamian and you have an opinion on the new port. Yeah, so they, they filled in all this area. So the space that was once waterfront is no longer waterfront. Yeah. Um, but here at the end, it looks like they're going to have space for uh, water excursions to go out as well. These are little docks here along the end. Uh, but how nice you can walk inside the port with all the different shops and restaurants and things and take it all the way from this ship all the way down to uh, Senior Frog. So you really, you know, if you've been to Nassau many times and you don't really feel like leaving the port. You can stay. Um, you can stay in, you know, in the port. Have fun. There's a lot of different seating areas. It's very clean. Yeah. It's very new and clean here. The bathroom's clean. Everything clean. Fresh paint, fresh landscape, and it's going to be lush eventually. I'll say about next year because all the plants and everything is brand new. It's going to be very lush next year. All right, let's keep looking. Let's go. All right, anyway, uh, so there it is, guys. I'm uh, Welcome to the new port in Nassau. Mm -hmm. um, so let's, let's break it down and talk about it a little bit. So if you've been on the channel for any time with us, um, you know that uh, we were victims of pickpocketing. We got robbed here in Nassau yes. um, several years ago. Yes, it was about three years ago. Yeah. So, um, you know, it was a, it was a, what appeared to be a, you know, a teenage uh, boy, basically, um, that pickpocketed the backpack that I had on me. If you want to hear the story, I'm going to link the video right here. Yeah. So, you know, and understandably, I was pretty upset that day that that happened. I think we both were. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is just not mm -hmm. something fun that you want to have happen to you. That's right. Um, but we do want to talk a little bit about NASA. I, you know, I do think they kind of get a, a, a bad rep, but they do, I agree, have a lot of work to do. Yes. Um, this new port that's behind us and that you just saw in the video, I think is a good start. 
I do. And before we get started, let me just say, if you're willing to go ahead and take the trip over to Nassau or you want to cruise, give us a call, 877-697-4470, or we can be reached at www.mr-travelerthisguy.com, and we'll be more than happy to take care of your travel needs. Getting back to the port, I think that it's going to be a progress going forward, but I think I also agree with Miss Traveler, they're getting such a bad rap on who's been who's the worst port and I don't think they should take that title. Yeah. Um you know, like I said, behind this they're working on it. So this is a, a big improvement. I feel kinda bad for the shops that were once waterfront yeah. and are now no longer waterfront. This is all man made behind us. They filled in some of the bay. That's a whole nother situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So some of the restaurants like Sharky's back there used to be a waterfront place where you could sit up there, have a good meal, get some free Wi Fi and, yes. and look at the water. But now you're sitting up there, you're looking at the back side of this port. I don't think the owners are very happy about that as far as everybody who owned property on that waterline and now the port as you can see is built right in front of it. Okay, so that aside we need to talk, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's progress, right? Um, so uh, a lot of people's complaints are, uh, first of all, some, some of the safety concerns. And again, we were victims here. Yes. So we understand that. Um, I have forgiveness in my heart for it. So we've moved on. I don't have any ill will towards that young man or this place. Mm -hmm. um, they're building this port and obviously they got this amphitheater down here. So there's gonna be some kind of you know, music going on and different things like that. A lot of different places for people to shop here. That make really it nice. very accessible to the straw market and some of the different shops that are out there. Uh, coming soon, and we did the video on it, is Royal Caribbean's gonna have their um, their little spot here on the other side of the ship here, <laughs> on the side of the bay. They're gonna have that uh, beach area, beach club, that's gonna be opening up. Because a lot of people's second uh, uh, objections to here is there's nothing to do. Right. A lot of people complain that there's nothing to do. We notice on, we are right now, we on MSC Seascape on their newest ship for MSC. And we noticed leaving on a port day today, it was a lot of people who stayed back on the ship. Yeah. And I don't think they even saw the new port being built or wanted to see it because it's so congested here. But I think you just need to give it a chance. Yeah. So. I think that they're working on it, right? So again, they're going to have the Royal Caribbean is going to have their place, their beach club next door. Yep. They have this uh, venue behind us that's going on here. I think that they need to work on some more, um, uh, some more day trips that'll take you to other islands and other places yes. uh, around the Bahamas. I think that would be helpful, especially a lot of times when you come to Nassau, you're here for a very long port day simply because it's so close to the states. Did you know that Azumas is my favorite part of the earth? <laughs> I've been all around the world, and in the Bahamas, it's called the Great Azumas, and then the Smaller Azumas. That is my favorite part of the earth. It is very far from Nassau, but if they took day trips over, you can explore them, and you can see why it's my favorite part. It is just the most beautiful islands you ever want to see in your life. So, you know, I say all that to say, I think that they're working on the things to do portion of that. Uh, we often find ourselves coming here, either going to the beach over on Paradise Island, or we do uh, one of the resort day passes, which I think is still a great option for NASA because it's the, the water is beautiful around here. Yeah. So if you can go to one of the nice resorts and and uh, you know enjoy their swimming pool and then enjoy their you know the beach and things like that, yeah. I think it's a really great option for NASA if you don't want to do. Else. Today is raining and it's really cloudy and stormy, but usually it's very hot and sunny and beautiful here and the water is just, I'm telling you, it's some of the best water in the world. Yeah. You can see it from space, even Nassau said that you can see the strips of water down here as I'm showing on this picture, you can see it from, from space. It yeah. is so beautiful here. You have to explore the Bahamas, not just Nassau, but get out of Nassau and see the rest of it. You would be surprised. We did have would. we did have the Rio booked for a day pass today, but because of the weather, we opted not to to spend the rest of the yeah. money. 
it rains and we didn't want to waste money, you know, yeah. because we can't enjoy the ocean when it's raining and it was lightning. <laughs> so and thundering. So now let's talk about the elephant in the room with okay. NASA. Man, this is the part I think that they really, really have to work on. So we yes. said, we talked about they're working on the things to do here. They're building this up and making it beautiful. And, and different venues are coming in here, different vendors with different yes. excursions and things are coming. Um, I think the biggest part that's missing here is the security in the touristy areas. Yes. Um, we walked outside of the, the port terminal and we didn't see not one police officer. No police, but we did see a lot of security people yeah. with t-shirts with security on. Is that, do you think that'll be enough? Why don't you comment below and let us know. Should they beef up the police department here more or is security fine? You know, if, if you notice um, any security when you came through the port, because there are so many of our clients that come to Nassau, almost every single cruise comes through the Bahamas. I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've been to the Bahamas ports. Yeah. So. You know, and yes, we did. We saw port security. We saw some security by the straw market, things like that. But actual physical police officers, we didn't see any. So, you know, here's my thing. Especially the Port of Nassau is making a ton of money off of these ships. I mean, what is the government doing with it? We have been here when it's been like six ships in port at any given time. Yes. And let's say it's a small ship, so I won't even use this. I won't even use the bigger ships, but the bigger ships come here. So let's say it's six uh smaller ships with three thousand people so you're looking at eighteen thousand people here times their port fees you know um, i think that they really need to invest in their police department here um even if they added more money to the port fees to support that mm -hmm. i i would be fine with that paying an extra couple bucks per passenger Me too. I wouldn't mind just to help bring police to this island you know more police when these cruise ships are in here, we really should see a good presence of police outside the port yeah. and in the places that tourists go, right? So over to Paradise Island, mm -hmm. along the beaches, along the hotels there, mm -hmm. uh, maybe the fish market, people go down there and go to do that. So, you know, the key areas where you see people, where tourists especially are walking yes. um, and they're being subjected to pickpocketers or yes. whatever else. I think the pickpocketing is the biggest thing. Um, yeah, you know. Mm -hmm. and, and and you know, listen. If you've been around the Caribbean, the panhandling comes. It comes with. There's much worse places for panhandling than here. That's right. Much worse. Way. <laughs> we won't. Worse. We won't mean it. We, we won't put any names in here. We have been there. But you know, there's places where they bug you so bad you don't even want to get off the ship. Yes. Um, this new port that they've gotten here, it's. I see a lot less of that. Now? No, we, we walked through there, kind of we, didn't, it? we didn't get thing handled at all. I don't think nobody yeah. really asks us about what we like to buy, what you like yeah. to buy, this, that. I think they cut that out here. It definitely feels more organized. It felt organized, it was clean. I, I really love the colors, the bathrooms is clean. Mm -hmm. It's just a clean place. Any place that's clean, I love it, you know me. I'm very picky about how clean everything is, but I still noticed that there was still trash in the ocean, which I'm against, because you know, I'm a, we are divers. We, we love to protect the ocean, and that's what we do. We, we get people out to travel, we get them on cruise ships, and we can't do that if we see trash in the ocean, you know? So we wanna protect the waters, but if they can kind of beef up the way you can throw trash away around, you know, the ports, I'll, I'll be okay with that. It's come together. Yeah. So it's a work in progress, but yeah. they definitely, definitely, definitely need to do something about a police presence, not just a security guard. Police, It needs right. to be like really police on here. And we feel that way because we've been robbed here. So yeah. we kind of leery well, about... You know, we send you guys here, mm -hmm. those of you who book with us. We recommend it. Or, you know, maybe take our recommendations and do things yeah. here like you took in the walking tour over to Paradise Island, took the uh, took the water taxi and all that kind of thing over there. And it's fun, it's something, it's something fun to do, but you want to do it and you want to feel safe. And I generally always feel safe here, even though, you know, you get haggled a little bit in there. Yeah. And, and even now, even after I got pickpocketed that one time, I still feel safe when I come here. It doesn't bother me to come here. Yeah. I mean, it's just something that happens. You just have to watch your 
you have to watch your surroundings no matter what island you go to, right? So when we come up these islands, we don't wear our jewelry. No. Nope. We don't carry no whole bunch of cash with us. I usually have a credit card and our ID. I may have a little bit of cash if we want to buy something small or get somebody a tip or something like that, whatever you know the case may be. Um, but you have to be cognizant of your surroundings, mm -hmm. you know. And when we, when we got pickpocketed here, you know, they caught me slipping. They got me. Yeah. They got me. Yeah. You know, that was good. <laughs> But to say that this is the worst port, I wouldn't say that. Um, especially for our solo travelers, we have a lot of, you know, young ladies who like to kind of leave their husbands when they don't want to go. They, you know, buddy up with their girlfriends and, you know, get to a girl trip. And we want to recommend places that are safe for them. So I think the new port is helping out quite a bit, but I would say beef up the police here. So some recommendations for now. Um, and that's a good point, like if you're solo or something like that, you're feeling a little uneasy, so, some suggestions that I have. Um, definitely recommend doing a day pass at a hotel. Yes. Um, if you book with us, uh, we have a couple of different companies that we use that are great. Mm -hmm. And there's a ton of hotels here in, in Nassau. Mm -hmm. And some of them come with food and beverages, some don't. Mm -hmm. um, it just depends on what you want to do. Uh, but now that they have this new port with the taxi stand in there, you can leave off the ship, stay with the protected area of this port, get yes. your taxi right inside of here and it takes you directly um, to the to the resort. And so it'll help you feel, maybe feel a little bit more secure um, in, in traveling. It'll feel more like a shuttle service. You know, and then, you know, if you just don't feel comfortable to it, make make nasa a, a spa day for you yeah just use the ship you know book, a lot book, of people staying on the ship today book a spa treatment while mm -hmm. you're in port and just pamper yourself and enjoy it. yeah because there's not a lot of people on the ship when you're at port day so take advantage of the ships we hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you can give us a thumbs up if you love our hard work we go live from different places I'm Miss Traveler, Y'all Cause Glam, this is Mr. Traveler, and we set sail all over the world. We fly, do resorts, we do it all. We do Disney, we do it all for you. So make sure your stay is comfortable. So we bring you the facts. We are very real people. And if you like us, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You know, to our channel, it's free. All right, well, I want to thank you so much for watching NASA. Keep up the good work. I love the Newport. I can't wait to see more. Life short. Have fun, guys. See the world. See that song. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.